As we said this week, we're returning 630 Central into Election Central, and this year our Kansans will weigh in on dozens of races, including who will be our next governor. But there's this one section of the ballot that always creates a lot of questions, the ballot questions. This year, four issues on there with the biggest spotlight falling on the push to legalize recreational marijuana. Lawmakers wrote and created the first three questions. They'll need final approval from you, the voters, to be added to the state constitution. So tonight we're taking a closer look at issue two, which, if it passes, might upend this entire ballot question process. The second issue on the ballot changes the required number of votes that future amendments or ballot measures would need to be approved. Now, a bill only needs a simple majority, just over 50 percent, to get approval. Ballot issue number two would change that and make the threshold a 60 percent supermajority, two-thirds of everyone who votes. The bill's sponsor, Representative David Ray, says that it can be too easy to get something on the ballot, and outside influence can play a big role in what gets there. Our initiative and constitutional amendment process is really susceptible to big money, out-of-state interests that really want to hijack our lenient ballot access laws and use those to essentially buy an amendment to our Constitution. Others, like the Arkansas Public Policy Panel, say it's not quite that easy. It's incredibly hard. I mean, you have to collect over 100,000 signatures to put something on the ballot. You have to follow very specific rules and regulations that the legislature has created. Uh, you have to write the measure in a way that it passes constitutional muster with the courts. And then after you do all of that, then you got to convince voters to vote for it, which is the hardest hurdle of all. Arkansas is one of 38 states right now that require just a simple majority. Just 11 states require a supermajority in some type of way. A change like this could have a pretty significant impact on elections. Between 2000 and 2020, there were 40 proposed bills going before voters. 30 won approval, 10 were rejected. Of the 30 that passed, 18 of them received at least 60% approval. That means that 12 of the proposals in our Constitution today wouldn't have made it under the new rules. Our state constitution is our bedrock foundational document, and we shouldn't just amend it four, five, six times every two years in just sort of a willy-nilly fashion. It should really only be amended when there's something closer to genuine consensus among the voters. To take that right away from citizens after 100 years uh, is just the wrong direction for the state to move. Our state motto is regnant populace, where the people rule, but issue two directly undermines that state motto. So when you see the issue on the ballot, a yes vote would change the required number of votes to enact ballot measures to a 60 percent supermajority in future elections. A no vote would keep it how it is so that a simple majority approves new laws. And this question has come up before. It usually doesn't fall along party lines. So we'll say that David Ray is a Republican and the Pub Public Policy Institute, they're a left-leaning organization. As we look at the governors and the candidates and where they stand, Chris Jones and Ricky Dale Harrington Jr. have voiced opposition to this ballot issue. Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the Republican frontrunner, showing support, calling the Constitution here in Arkansas precious. Tomorrow, we're going to take a look at issue three. That's the push to ban the government from being a burden on someone's religion.